Hi there, this is Nahid from the RF Education channel and it is the sixth session of Object Oriented Programming in Python. Today I'm going to continue our discussion about magic methods in Python classes. Already we got familiar with the concept of these methods in Python and we know that Python is going to call them in specific situations because these are specific type of methods, not ordinary methods. So Python is going to call them automatically. Today we are going to uh, check comparison magic methods. These methods are used when we want to compare two objects of a class to each other. By default, Python uh, doesn't know anything about uh, the content or the context of our uh, objects or our classes, so it doesn't know how to compare them. It's just uh, gonna check their location in memory, object's location in memory, and we can just uh, check the equality or not equality. But if we implement these methods in our classes, this is stand for equality, not equal, less than, greater than, less than or equal and greater than or equal. Then we can compare object based on the business or logic that we want to do it. For example, if we want to check two points are equal, we can say if their x coordinates are equal to each other and their y, uh, their y coordinate also uh, equal to each other, so these two objects are equal. And then we can change uh, this logic inside all these methods. This is based on the context of the application that we are working on. And these methods uh, are going to call automatically when we use these comparison operators. For example, for EQ, it will be called when we use the uh, equality sign. Or not, EQ, not equal is, uh, will be called when we use not equal sign. And uh, the interesting thing that when we implement EQ, Python is going to use it for not equal if we forgot to implement it or if we just uh, need the equality and uh, for not equality we're just going to mm, reverse the result of equality. Python do it uh, automatically for us so we don't need to implement all of these methods. We just can implement a couple of them for example EQ and less than then not equal or greater than will be called automatically based on the concept or the logic inside these two methods. Okay let's go to VS Code and check these category with each other. Okay, let's check uh, comparison magic methods in Python. Uh, in previous session, we check representational magic methods, uh, dunder rep r or represent and dunder str. And we already know that uh, these kind of methods are called implicitly and uh, we're not gonna call them directly. And Python interpreter uh, knows uh, when to call them. Uh, for comparison magic methods, again we are going to search Python magic methods and the second link on GitHub is well categorized uh, for magic methods. Here we have uh, comparison uh, magic methods. Dunder CMP uh, is, uh, is a short way uh, for comparison and it's somehow deprecated and no one used it anymore I think based on PEP27. Uh, in this uh, uh, magic method uh, we're going to return an integer value. If uh, one object is uh, less than the other, we're going to return a negative integer. If they are both the same uh, or they are equal, we return zero. And a positive number if a uh, current uh, instance is uh, bigger than or larger than the other one. But uh, nowadays, we can use these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, magic methods to implement this kind of uh, uh, equation. EQ stands for equal. If two objects are equal to, uh, to each other, so uh, we can uh, use that EQ to check them using uh, uh, equal sign. What does it mean? Okay. Here I have, uh, let's go and check with the point uh, class. We declared it in the previous sessions and I'm going to use them. Here I have uh, two different, let's comment all of these and I'm going to create uh, two new objects, P1 equal to point one and two and again p2 equals to um, point again one and two if we think logically uh, these points uh, are the same they are reference to a certain uh, coordinates in uh, on the screen so what if i check them print p1 equal to p2 what is the result if i run the application you can see it's false let's comment this one again yeah. Why these two uh, instances are not equal? Because if I uh, print them, print P1 and print P2, these are two variables in memory. 
It's right that you're uh, uh, a reference to an instance of a class, but they're located in different parts of memory. Okay, and uh, if we uh, do not uh, re-implement the magic methods for comparison, Python just check uh, the address of uh, these two instances, so they are not the same. And if I want to check the equality, I can uh, re-implement the dunder eq method. eq dunder. Again, it's, a, uh, it's an uh, instance level method, so I'm gonna send uh, self I want to set the self as the first parameter, and here I'm going to check uh, based on my logic. In my logic, if uh, the x of two instance uh, are the same, and again the two, the two y of two instance are the same, they are equal. So I'm going to return self dot x, and again it should have uh, another parameter. Call it other in most scenarios. If self dot x equal to self dot uh, or other dot x and self dot y equals to self uh, other dot y if this condition happened then these two instances are equal now if i run the application one more time you can see here it gets us true although these two instances are located in different part of the memory they are uh, equal because uh, I check their inner value, the x value and the y value. To be sure, I can uh, change the value, just change the x value of uh, the first instance and run it one more time. Here it's false because their x portion is not the same anymore. Uh, so what if I uh, omit this part? I said in my application, only if the y uh, attribute of two instances are the same, they are equal. Now, if I run the application, it says, yeah, they are the same. So this is the logic based on uh, my opinion or uh, my criteria of uh, developing this class. This is uh, something related to the business of that class. And you can uh, do it uh, as you need. The other one, and uh, let's check, uh, instance. it's EQ, not equal, less than, greater than, less than and equal, uh, less than or equal, and greater than equal. So, uh, what if I uh, change it to not equal? Let's see if this is true or not. It says it's false. So, uh, let's check, uh, let's change this value. It says true. Although I uh, did not re-implement the NE or not equal, uh, Python interpreter realized that I implemented EQ. So it checks uh, the, uh, the output of this method and uh, uh, just, uh, mm, just uh, reverse it to the other uh, value of the Boolean, okay? Because uh, these methods are uh, gonna return uh, a Boolean value, true or false. So the same thing are uh, gonna happen for uh, greater than and less than. I'm gonna uh, re-implement def down there, uh, this one gt greater than okay number gt dunder and the first parameter itself and the other one is other now if both parameters are greater than the other one it's true okay i'm going to return uh, self that self that x greater than self that uh okay i'm sorry other dot x and self that uh y uh, greater than uh, other dot y. If this criteria met, then uh, the object is uh, the, for example, p1 object is greater than the p2. So I want to check this one. Print p2 is greater than p1. And comment these lines. Now, it's not. It's false. Okay, let's check. It's false. And uh, for the demonstration let's comment this method out and run it one more time it says that uh, type error greater than uh, not supported between instances of point and point it, uh, Python interpreter said that I'm not I don't know how to compare these uh, two instances for uh, for greater than for equality I check the address but for greater than I uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't make sense to check the uh, address of uh, in instances so we should explicitly implement this method okay now if i uh, just uh, change this value 
it's greater than this one and it's also greater than uh, the other one and if I run it save it and again run it oh run it one more time it's a true yeah p1 is greater than uh, p2 and now if I check if I change uh, the sign to less than because I uh, implemented greater than it works again uh, same as equal and not equal now if I run the application it says uh, no let's save it and it says false p1 is not less than p2 but what if I change it to 100 and change it also to 200 and run it one more time it says yeah p1 is less than p2 and again if I comment this uh, magic method uh, and run the application mm, run the application it says uh, less than not supported between point and point so this is uh, the main object of uh, this session uh, um, and I hope uh, you get the concept of uh, object comparison it's very uh, handy when you want to compare two objects in your code instead of checking uh, so uh, we can check them here but it's a little it's a little bit ugly and somehow dirty code we are going to write clean code uh, and we can encapsulate the logic of uh, comparison of uh, one class inside uh, of that class and we're not gonna spread it over all the program we just add it here and whenever we uh, get to instance of this class we can compare them with each other and let's uh, check uh, for the students I'm gonna uh, def underline uh, under um, greater than self and other. For example, we're gonna uh, sort uh, a list of uh, student uh, objects or instances. With greater than, we can check if uh, I want to uh, uh, sort them. Uh, I want to compare them based on uh, which field this is uh, gonna work and uh, help you to organize your help uh, your uh, sort function before doing this uh, via magic methods let's uh, get rid of this one and I'm gonna clear the output uh, I want to create a list of student instances and sort them uh, based off different keys for example we have Sir and Wait here. Uh, we're gonna create a John and, uh, for example, Marianne. Let's change their name, respectively. John and uh, Marianne. Here uh, we have one and fourteen. Okay, sixteen. 18, 30, and 17. Now I'm going to create a list of uh, these objects. Comment this one. And if we have any, yeah, get rid of this. Oh. Students equal to a list of Wahid, Sarah, John, and uh, John and uh, Maria. Okay. Now I'm going to print uh, students, students, and pass it to sorted function of uh, sorted function of Python. Students, sort it and return it. If I run the application, it says that uh, less than not supported between instances of a student and a student. Here, uh, we get alarmed that uh, I couldn't compare uh, the um, instances of a student uh, class with each other. I need at least less than uh, to compare them. So, we can uh, change the problem here and use the key parameter. For example, uh, I can here say key equals to uh, a lambda expression, x uh, and x dot. I want to sort them based on... Uh, uh, based on, um, for example, Python grade, method Python, based on Python grade, I'm gonna sort you. Now, if I run the application, it says that John, again, uh, Maria, 17, 18, Sarah, 19, and uh, Vahid, 20. So the list gets sorted based on uh, 
the key parameter that I passed uh, to the sorted function. So, what if I uh, create dunder, for example, uh, less than self and other inside the student class? I want to compare them based on uh, based on the, for example, uh, db grade. Here I said return uh, self dot db greater than uh, other dot db. Now, if I uh, comment this one and print uh, sorted, uh, print sorted uh, students. Let's see what's happened. I'm going to run the application. And based on db, Vahid comes first and then Mariam with 14, and after that Sarah with 12, and at last John with 1. So it gets sorted based on uh, what I uh, used here. Okay. And my mistake, comparison, comparison is wrong because it's used less than. I should uh, change the direction of the comparison and run it one more time. Okay, John with 1, Sarah 12, Mariam 14, and Vahid with 20. Okay. Now, uh, the magic methods help us to uh, sort a list without passing key parameter to the sorted function. And we can compare them uh, when, whenever we want uh, to a student compared uh, based on um, their uh, database grades. And we can change the logic uh, to whatever we want. So this is all about the comparison magic methods. In the next session, we're going to uh, look at the other things of uh, object-oriented principle. And we check uh, magic methods for arithmetic operation. It's again, uh, get us good uh, fl flexibility when we are working with some uh, classes that uh, contain some arithmetic uh, logic uh, at behind. And we can um, just uh, use arithmetic operation like plus, minus, divide, and multiply very easily. Okay. I hope you enjoy uh, the content of this session. Uh, I will be glad if you uh, share your opinion with me in the comment section. Till the next session, goodbye.